So students, in this video, we're discussing about question number 1.3, which is talking about limiting reagent. So here the question is, in a reaction A plus B2 giving AB2, identify the limiting reagent, if any, in the following reaction mixture. There are a set of five questions given. We'll solve one by one. The first one is 300 atoms of A and 200 atoms of B2. So let's see how to 200 molecules. This is molecule. I'll just make a change. Two hundred molecules of B two. So here, keeping this condition, we need to find out based on this reaction which one of these are limiting reagent. So here, when you're writing down as per this equation, we say that one atom of A plus one molecule of B2 will give one molecule of AB2. This is the equation, this is the information you get from the equation. Now, same thing when we try to write with respect to these numbers given to us, it says that 300 atoms of A should give, should be uh, actually 300 molecules of B2. But if we check and see as per the data given to us, we don't have 300 molecules, but data given is only 200, right? So because only 200 molecules are there, therefore this particular reagent is a limiting reagent. So here we can say only only 200 molecules of B2 are there. Therefore, B2 is the limiting reagent. So for this particular condition, B2 is going to be the limiting reagent. Now let's see for the second question under this. Second question it clearly says 2 moles of A plus 3 moles of B2. 2 moles of A plus 3 moles of B2. So here again as per the equation given to us 1 mole of atom A will require one mole of atom of the more of B2 molecule. So based on that, we are going to write this. So we can write here that one mole of atom A requires one mole of B2. Therefore, 2 moles. Therefore, 2 moles of atom A will require 2 moles of B2. But as per the question, instead of 2 moles of B2, we have 3 moles of B2, which means 1 mole is more. So in that case, this will be excess reagent and this is going to be the limiting reagent. So in this case, A is the limiting reagent. A is the limiting reagent. So based on the, on the common equation that is given, if a value is more than what is mentioned to us in the question, it will be excess reagent. If it is lesser, it's going to be a limiting reagent. So in this case, because 2 moles is what we expect out of the equation, but it's given as 3 moles in the question, therefore this B2 is going to be an excess reagent, whereas A will become a limiting reagent. Let's see question number 3 now. So the question number 3 is, it says 100 atoms of A, 100 atoms of A plus 
hundred molecules of B2. Now this particular question is going as per the question given to us because the equation is A plus B2 giving AB2. So in this case, because A plus B2 is giving AB2, here we can say one atom of A reacts with one molecule of B2. This is as per the equation. So therefore, we can say that 100 atoms of A will require 100 molecules of B2. And that is the same thing that you are getting in the question. So in this case, there is no limiting reagent. It is going as per the equation itself. There is no limiting reagent in third part. Now, question number four is 5 moles of A plus 2.5 moles of B2. Same way we are going to solve it. Our equation here is A plus B2 giving AB2. So in this case, since one atom or one, one mole, one mole of A will react with one mole of B2. We expect five moles of A to react with five moles of <clears throat> B2. But we don't have five moles here. We have only 2.5 moles, which is lesser than five moles that is expected. So in this case, B2 is going to be the limiting reagent because the moles mentioned to us is lesser than what is expected. So here B2 is the limiting reagent. Now in the last one, that is the fifth question in this, it says 2.5 moles of A plus 5 moles of B2. In this case also, the equation is the same A plus B2 giving AB2. So here 1 mole of A will require 1 mole of B2. We are writing in terms of mole because the question is given, given is in terms of mole. So 1 mole of A will require 1 mole of B2. Therefore, 2.5 moles of A of A will require same 2.5 moles of B2. But in this case, if you see here 5 moles of B2 is given, which is more number of moles and here 2.5 is what is expected. So here in this case, it is lesser number, but here we have more moles in the question given, which means B2 is going to be excess reagent and A is going to be limiting reagent. So for this case, A is the limiting reagent. A is the limiting reagent. So this way, if you have a general equation, just check what is the balancing of the equation. Once it is balanced, write down in the terms of uh, parameters given to us and then compare with what is asked in the question. That way, it's easy for us to identify which one is limiting reagent, which one is excess reagent.